And it's like so easy. You like can't mess it up, honestly. Or I guess you could mess it up, but I didn't mess it up. Hello guys. Hello. Today we are going to be baking again. So last time we baked cookies, this time we are going to bake bread. I've only ever attempted to cook like zucchini bread or like banana bread and that never goes well. So today I saw my friend post this thing on Instagram called beer bread and it only has five ingredients. So my thought process is because it only has five ingredients, it shouldn't be that hard to make. The five ingredients are flour, baking powder, salt. I called for kosher salt, but we're going with sea salt. So we'll see how it goes. Salted butter, gosh, a beer of your choice. So to be quite honest, I don't drink beer. So I had no idea what kind of beer to buy. So online it said that if you're baking with beer, you're supposed to use a light lager, lager? Like, I don't even know how to pronounce it. So this is the beer we're gonna bake with today. Okay, so for today, since we established last time that really it's just that I'm not that exact when it comes to baking, my goal is to try to be as exact as possible with these measurements. There's only five ingredients, so it shouldn't be that hard to do that. The friend that made this, she posted hers on her Instagram story and it literally looks beautiful. So that's what we're going for. Also, are these the ingredients? Because I think it also calls for honey. One of these ingredients is wrong. Okay. So this is why I was confused. The recipe is literally called five ingredient beer bread, but it it's six ingredients. Okay, the sixth ingredient is honey. Let me grab it. Okay, so here's our sixth ingredient. We're going to use this honey right here. I'm really still confused as to why it's called five ingredient beer bread. Maybe it's because it's like beer bread, so the beer doesn't count as an ingredient. I don't really know. And so first we preheat the oven to 375 degrees. So, so let's do that. I have this problem where every time I need a bowl, they're just in a different spot. Oh, we have found a bowl. Okay, so we're going to add our flour, baking powder, salt to a mixing bowl. It says just a pinch of salt. I never know what a pinch is. Like, what does that mean? And then I always get nervous that I don't have enough. Okay, so we're just gonna like, I just had visions of that like salt meme. So if you have any tips on how to do lighting when you wear glasses, because I feel like glasses are kind of part of who I am. I don't wanna just like take them off or put my contacts in just every video, but I also don't want the ring light to reflect in them. Let me know what you think. So three cups of our all-purpose flour. I don't even particularly enjoy baking that much, but I feel like I kind of do it frequently. Okay, that looks pretty exact. That's like a cup of flour. Okay. Cup number two of flour. Cup number three of flour. And baking powder, one tablespoon. You guys, I like am feeling very confident about this because I feel like with only five ingredients, I literally can't mess this up. Okay, a very exact one tablespoon of baking powder. Okay, and we mix that. Wow, guys. Okay, this looks, this seems so easy. Watch, I say this now and it's gonna turn out horrendously. Okay, so we pour in the beer. So it's 12 ounces of beer. But I do think we got more than 12 ounces. Okay, yeah, so we got 24 ounces. I don't really know how to weigh this out. Does it like weigh like that? Let's try it, I'm gonna weigh it. Is that my kitchen scale or not working? Why? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I have these two cups that are exactly the same size. So I think we're just gonna pour the beer into it and like half it, cause that should make it 12 ounces, right? Okay, so one time on a Shane Dawson video, he showed me that if you stick your finger in the foam, that it'll just go down. So I'm just gonna try. Okay, no, so that didn't work. He tried it on a diet root beer though, so I don't know if it works the same with beer or not. Clearly not. 
Okay, and I can't even tell if they're like filled the same amount because there's so much stained foam. Yeah, that looks about right, right? <sighs> yeah, I don't like that. What we're gonna do is pour in the beer and a fourth cup of honey. And there is our very exact fourth cup of honey. <gasps> I got honey like all over my iPad. Not great. Guys, it kind of looks like a bread dough. Oh my goodness, this might be a success, you guys. I don't think that I've yet made a bread that cooks all the way through the middle. So I think that that's gonna be a real challenge. Look at that legit looks like a bread dough, you guys. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I'm so shook. It kind of looks like slime, actually. I'm so stoked. It says that we put this in the loaf pan. Spoon the batter into a prepared loaf pan. What does that mean? Hmm. So now that it's in the loaf pan, it tells us that we should put eight slices, or it's okay, so it's six tablespoons of butter, but they want it sliced into eight slices. So I went ahead and sliced our butters right here, and then we just stick it on our bread, I guess. It did tell us that this should probably, oh no, it didn't say probably. It told us that this should be cold butter. And ours just came from the store, so it's like mostly cold, but a little melty. It's like not rock hard, you know? It should be fine. This feels like a lot of butter, but I guess it is bread. Bread with butter on it is usually better. Here is our loaf. I'm so excited. It looks like something. Okay, and now we're going to put her in the oven. I'm going to bring her on over here. Our oven is at 375. So we're going to pop her in there. Bye, good luck. Okay, so now it says that we put her in the oven for 45 to 55 minutes. So I'm gonna set a timer for 45 minutes and then check on her, see if she looks done, and then we will check back. So I will see you guys soon. Okay guys, it has been 45 minutes, so we are about to go check on our bread. So I really, 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 really hope that it's cooked all the way through. Oh my gosh, you guys, it looks beautiful. You guys, I think it worked. Let me see if I can show it to you without burning myself. And it smells like actual bread. I'm so shook. Okay, so we're gonna give it a little bit of time to cool down and then probably take some photos with it if I'm being real. And then I will cut it and follow up with how it tastes. You guys, my bread worked. I'm so stoked. Okay, so I put it out and then I put it on. I really, okay, so. My friend that made this bread put hers on like this super cute like wooden board. So I was like, oh, we have a wooden board. I'll put mine on it too. But our wooden board was like significantly larger and the bread is not large enough for the wood. So it doesn't look as cute as hers. But here is our bread. Ah it is like an actual bread, guys. And it smells pretty good. And I think it's cooked all the way through. And it like, hold on. I really don't want this to drop. <laughs> but look how beautiful it is. I'm so proud of it. Now we are going to cut into the bread and try it and see if it's actually good. <gasps> it's beautiful. <gasps> it like looks like real bread. Oh my goodness. Dude, it tastes like real bread. Actually, that's like super bomb. This is like pretty good. Like would make again. Why is this so good? How does this even happen? There's like nothing in it. Well guys, thank you for joining me while I bake bread today. I feel like this channel is kind of turning into a cooking channel. Not actually, I can't cook. But I will continue to show you my attempts at cooking as I try. And if you ever baked bread before and you have a good recipe for it, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below and I might try it out and videotape it for next time. Other than that, I hope you all are having a wonderful day and I hope that your weekend is going well and that you're getting to hang out with people that you love. And I would really appreciate if you would like, comment and subscribe, it helps out my channel. Thanks for watching guys, bye. Also, like, would highly recommend trying this recipe. It's like bomb. I'll go ahead and link it down below for you. If I can do it, you can do it. So definitely go ahead and give it a try. If you do give it a try, let me know how it goes, okay? Bye.